Ever heard that saying, money makes money? Oh, yeah. Well, we are diving deep into investing basics today. Okay. And trust me, this isn't about being Warren Buffett or anything like that. Right. We've got excerpts from five different uh, financial gurus from YouTube. Okay. And let me tell you, there's some pretty interesting stuff in here. Yeah. Yeah. And one of them really stuck out to me. Um, okay. They said, it's like there's this glitch in the system. A glitch, okay. Yeah, like a glitch in the matrix almost, right? Okay. I'm intrigued. Tell me more about this glitch. So it's this idea that, you know, the wealthy, they don't work for money. Right. Money works for them. And that's that's exactly it. That's that compound interest, right? So yeah. compound interest, it's not about getting rich quick. It's more about letting your money work for you over the long term. And one of the examples they used, it's so simple, but it really drives it home. Yeah. They showed like... $1,000 invested, let's mm. say like 8% interest Okay. over 30 years, that becomes over $10,000. Yeah. It's kind of crazy when you think about it like that. It's wild. Yeah. So compound interest. Okay. It sounds great in theory. Yeah. But where do we even begin? Yeah. And that's where these YouTube videos, I think, offered some really practical advice. Okay. They broke it down into like these five stages of investing. Okay. And the best part is it doesn't have to be like this rigid timeline or anything. Right. It's about meeting you where you are financially, like right now. I like that. Okay. So what's stage one? So stage one, this is for those with less than $1,000 to their name. And honestly, at this stage, it's not even about like diving head first into stocks or bonds or anything like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so what should people be focusing on then? This is about investing in yourself. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, like at this stage, the most valuable asset that you can invest in is you. Okay. So like several of the videos emphasize, you know, increasing your earning potential. Maybe that's through learning new skills. Maybe it's starting a side hustle. Yeah, yeah. Like it's all about building that solid foundation first. Right. Build the foundation before you build the house, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So what about stage two then? Stage two is where things start to get a little bit more interesting. Okay. Uh, so this is, you know, you've got some income flowing, maybe a little bit of savings, and now you're ready to kind of like dip your toes into the market, right? And I think the key takeaway here is it's not about how much you invest at this point. It's about building that consistent habit. So even if it's a small amount every month or something like that. Exactly, exactly. Consistency is key. Consistency is key. One of the experts called it pay yourself first. Okay. And a really common strategy that they recommended was dollar cost averaging into something like the S&P 500. Okay, now hold on. Before we go any further, I think we need to break down what the S&P 500 even is. Right. Because that sounds like something that you know, financial people talk about. Yeah. I don't um, even know what that is. It's actually not that complicated. Okay. So the S&P 500 is essentially like a basket of 500 of the largest U.S. companies. So think, you know, Apple, Amazon, Google, like all the big names that you're here. Right, right. And so when you invest in an S&P 500 index fund, you're essentially buying a tiny piece of all those companies. So instead of trying to pick like, okay, this stock is going to be big. You're just kind of betting on the overall Exist. performance of the U.S. economy. Exactly. You're well. diversifying your risk across hundreds of companies. Okay. That makes sense. And then that dollar cost averaging that we were talking about, that just means investing like a fixed amount on a regular basis, regardless of whether the market is, you know, up or down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like that, it's like you know, diversifying your your music playlist or something. Sure. You don't want to just have like one song on there, right? Exactly. You gotta have yeah. like all your different you know genres and your different artists and stuff. Yeah. So, okay, we've got our dollar cost averaging. We're diversifying our portfolio like it's uh, Coachella. What other what other like gems did these financial gurus drop on us? Yeah. So a couple of them touched on the importance of understanding, especially for beginners, different investment accounts. Okay. Um, so like one one specifically that came up a couple times was the Roth IRA. Oh, the Roth IRA. Yeah. Okay. And you know what? Sometimes I feel like these acronyms are just like, oh, yeah. What, they're just like, what is that? What does that even mean? Yeah, for sure. Can you break down a, a Roth IRA like in the simplest terms? Yeah. So essentially a Roth IRA is a special savings account that is specifically designed for retirement. 
And so the way it works, you contribute money that you've already paid taxes on, but then all of the growth on those investments is completely tax-free when you withdraw in retirement. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a future tax break on all of your like sweet, sweet compound interest. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. So that's thinking ahead, you know, for those of us that are planning on actually retiring someday and enjoying it. Yeah, right. But for right now, you know, while we're still in the thick of it, what about just navigating all the ups and downs of our finances. Yeah, and you're you're spot on to bring that up because one thing that almost every single expert in these videos emphasized was the absolute necessity of having a solid emergency fund. Yes. Before you even think about investing. Okay, good. Yes. Like having that financial cushion is absolutely crucial. Because life happens. Ex you know, and we don't want to be in a situation where we're like, oh, shoot, I need to like sell off my investments because I've got this bill. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. having, you know, ideally three to six months of living expenses saved up. Right. So that if something happens, you can you can weather the storm without de derailing your long-term goals, you know? Totally. Okay, that makes a ton of sense. So we've got our emergency fund. We're consistently investing. Um, we're diversifying our portfolio. You know, maybe we're looking into a Roth IRA, depending on our situation. Yeah. What else should we be keeping in mind as we kind of go on this uh, journey to building wealth? Yeah, I think one of the most powerful takeaways, and this came up again and again, was that investing is a marathon, not a sprint, right? A 100%. Like one video even shared this really compelling story about an investor from 1985. Okay. And they they rode out every single market crash. Oh, wow. And they still came out ahead. Wow. It's a powerful reminder that you know, time in the market is way more important than timing the market perfectly. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race, right? Yeah. Like that's the that's the old saying. Exactly. But it's so hard not to get caught up in the hype though. Totally. You know what I mean? For sure. Like especially well. with how much financial news is out there, social media, hmm. everybody's always talking about it. Yeah. How do you how do you kind of stay focused on the long term? One of the experts, I think, offered a really helpful mental framework for this, and he basically just called it tuning out the noise. Okay. And that really resonated with me. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like instead of constantly checking your portfolio right. or like trying to predict the, you know, what the next big stock is going to be, just focus on what you can control. Right. Like you can control how consistently you're investing. You can control your diversification. Right. And you can control sticking to your plan. Tuning out the noise. I love that. Put your noise canceling headphones. Just focus on your own uh, financial jam or whatever. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So as we're kind of wrapping up here, um, what is like the one final thought, like the most impactful thought that you want to leave our listeners with today from all of these different financial experts? Yeah, you know, it goes back to that example earlier uh, about, you know, $1,000 invested over at 8% interest over 30 years becoming over $10,000. Yeah. Well, imagine if you were to invest the price of your daily coffee, let's just say it's like five bucks, into the stock market every single day for the next 40 years. Right. Like the potential for growth over that time period is truly remarkable. Yeah, yeah. It really is, uh, it, it really makes you think twice about, you know, even if it's five dollars, ten dollars, like where's your money going? Exactly. Right. And it's not about getting rich quick. We talked about yeah. that. Right. It's those small, consistent choices over a long period of time that can have a really, really big impact. For sure. Awesome. Well, there you have it. Actionable uh -huh. advice from five different financial experts. There you go. Um, boil down to, you know, just the most important things. Exactly. And hopefully you found this useful and you learned a lot today. Absolutely. You know, knowledge is power. And the first step to building wealth is taking that first step towards understanding. I completely agree. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today uh, for this deep dive on investing basics. We hope you enjoyed it and we will catch you next time.